Hi guys, welcome back to Crypto Chester. My name is Chester and today I'm here to give you an emergency update on Matic on a potential long position to consider. The reasoning for this trade is look at this upwards momentum that we've just found, that we've just basically found in the last hour and 10 minutes right of this 12 hourly candle. We have just closed this 12 hourly candle above sorry, the previous 12 hour candle, we did close that above the volume weighted ATR band here. So we are we are looking at that upwards momentum. As we all know for Matic, Matic has had some insane upwards momentum recently, and we are looking like we're repeating that in history right now. So the first factor, we have just got over the volume weighted ATR band. We're seeing that upwards momentum in terms of buying power right now. We have just cleared the 21 on the 12 hour here as well. So that's, we have gained another level of support there to basically push us to the upside in that sense right there. Obviously, we do have this downward sloping resistance line to think about in terms of resistance. But let's jump to the four hour here. Let's jump to the four hour because this is initially going to be our target. If we can get a nice four hourly close above this 21, right? Above this 21 um, and find a nice level of support there. We're going to have a nice target up at this downward sloping resistance line at around that $2.11 there. In terms of what's happening on the RSI, formatic right now we are not we're not currently overbought we're not currently over so we're pretty central indeed but we also have this downward sloping resistance like coming down on the top side of the rsi here so it's definitely something to consider if we are going to pump up in the price in terms of resistance point in terms of a point that we are going to get to it is around this 64.6 64.68 mark around that 65 mark so it's definitely something to consider in terms of a target price for this trade that we are looking for at the moment obviously nothing i say is financial advice it's just my opinions and if i can give you a little insight onto a potential trade that we could be looking at that's basically what i'm doing here right obviously i'm saying educate yourself in terms of um what i'm saying um in terms of do your own research right at this point in time, we have had the bearish crossover on the MACD. We we have had the bearish crossover on the MACD signifying this downtrend. But with that being said, right, with that being said, with this downtrend coming through, we have seen it in a sense fizzle out. We're seeing it fizzle out on the on the MACD formatic on the midterm here. So we're looking like these um t these two moving averages are going to come come through quite soon and see that um and see that um, bullish crossover coming through, right? And that basically is initiation that we are gonna see a pump in the price, potentially not this high, potentially probably um, setting a lower high from there, and then a lower high from there, potentially setting some sort of trend cycle like this. Definitely something to think about when trading Matic right now. In terms of the position, let's jump down to the one hour time frame right now. Let's jump down to the one hour time frame now, right now. As you can see, it looks very bullish indeed in terms of price reversal, in terms of finding a nice level of support at this point here which as you can see in previous price action, in a previous consolidation period here for Matic at around um, on the 25th of May there, three days ago, we did actually see a nice level of support and we gained a big previous uh, momentum push to the upside from there. And that's basically what we're seeing now. That is exactly what we're seeing now. And that's another reasoning for to, to be getting into this trade right now. Let me get rid of that. And obviously, as you can see on the short term here, we do have this uh, downward sloping resistance line um, in terms of the RSI, right? So we would be looking at some sort of resistance here. And that's basically an indication we are looking at a take profit um, on this downward sloping resistance. This line, this trend line coming down through there, right? Now, right now, our target for um for this hourly candle close to be looking at potential entry for this position would be to close above the price action channel here and above this 55 moving average here. As you can see, this 55 moving average is this green one here. If we can get a nice close above it, we're looking at that momentum to the upside. We're looking at the momentum to the upside. So if we can get a close above this, it's basically confirmation that we are going to shoot up here, not to the moon, but at least to this point here in terms of a downward sloping resistance line, in terms of a take profit around that $2.12 mark, right? In terms of a percent for this long trade, which could be coming Coming into fruition here. We're looking at, imagine we, uh, basically, imagine if my entries there, we're looking at potential, potential near enough 6% trade there for Matic if we see the price action looking quite quite nice like that in terms of um, upwards momentum. If it's not as steep as we would like it to be, it would be around a bit less, obviously, because it is going to come down and hit this um, down, downward sloping resistance line a bit later in time, right? So we could be looking at just under 5% for that trade as well there are for that trade as well there, right? Guys, that's going to round off the video there. Potential trade to be looking for. Obviously, do your own research. Nothing that I say is financial advice and do not just copy this trade. Um, do your own research and find... Um and reference, re reference some other indicators as well, right? But guys, if you like the video, smash that thumbs up. Helps me out tremendously. Um, and also, guys, I stream every single morning, Monday to Friday, uh, one to two hours. Um, do some TI. I do a, um, a, a mid, uh, sorry, a short term for Bitcoin, a mid term for Bitcoin, and then a long term for Bitcoin as well, right? And also, I, I touch on some altcoins requests in the chat. So if you don't want to miss one of those, one of those live streams, um, or an, anyone, who, any, any more of these videos, right? Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. You're never gonna miss one of my uploads, right? But yeah, guys, this is me signing out. Peace out. Thanks again for watching. Um, from Crypto Chester.